Hey everybody, Justin watching the movies here. I got a very special September Blu-ray and Funko Pop haul. I got a lot of Funkos and a lot of Blu-rays this month. So I'm really excited to delve into this video and show you guys everything I picked up in the month of September. Let's get started with the Blu-rays first this month. The first Blu-ray I got here is from Warner Archive Collection. This is Night Moves. This stars Gene Hackman. I got this movie to review. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm really excited to check it out. Along with that package, I also got My Blue Heaven starring Steve Martin and Rick Moranis. I thought this was a very interesting film because I never thought Steve Martin would play a gangster. And I never thought Rick Moranis would play a federal agent. But their characters work and it was a fun little film. Next movie I got is Mulan and Mulan 2 from Best Buy. Uh, my wife and I wanted to go see this movie in theaters. But we got really tired so we didn't go see it in theaters. And we went and bought it at Best Buy before checking Netflix. And both of these movies were on Netflix. So yeah, I have Mulan now and I have the Blu-ray even though it's on Netflix. So whenever Netflix crashes... I'm happy to know that I do have Mulan on Blu-ray. I also received this DVD to review. This is called Lord Legend of the Ravaging Dynasties. Um, yeah, this was not a very good film. Um, it's kind of the Final Fantasy style animation, um, like motion capturing. Um, yeah, the animation was bad. The story was bad. Overall, it was just a really bad film. Not sure what I'm going to do with this movie. I uh, probably will never watch it again. But yeah, Lord... Legend of the Ravaging Dynasties. Next up, I picked up The Big Sick. This is an awkward true story, as it says down here. This is a really funny film, very heartwarming. I really enjoyed this film. I saw it over the summer in theaters and was really surprised how great this film was. Picked this up at Best Buy for about 18 bucks. Really enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to definitely check it out again. Next up is Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. This is the Hero Edition, which included a cape. As a pretty open space for the slipcover. Uh, the cape barely fits me. Um, it sizes ages. It says here ages three and up. I wore it like once, and I really don't remember what I did with it. So there you guys have it. All the Blu-rays I picked up for the month. Now let's move on to the Funko Pops. The first Funko Pop here I got is a six-inch female Titan from Attack on Titan. I thought her character was crazy at the end of season one, and I really loved. The character that the female titan played and i love the story behind her as well so this was like seven bucks on amazon and i could not pass it up next up is aquaman and mother box this is the 2017 summer convention exclusive i think this was at walmart uh, my best friend had this uh, he had a couple of copies of it and didn't know what to do with it so he gave it to me um haven't seen the movie yet, but I hope it's really good. I uh, hope Aquaman in is I hope Aquaman is fun in this movie. Um, here's some other ones as well. Bruce Wayne's pretty cool in the Flash Unmasked. So we'll see how uh, Justice League is in November. Next up is the Remus Lumpen as Werewolf Hot Topic exclusive. I'm in love with Harry Potter, and I really enjoy the third Harry Potter movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is the Professor Lumpen who eventually turns into a werewolf at the end of the film and attacks a trio of youngsters. And we know that he is best friends with Sirius Black. And I like how they captured the lankiness of him and his green eyes. He does look very sinister like he did in the movie. Also at Hot Topic, I picked up Hopper in the Biohazard suit. This one's really cool. This is my second Stranger Things Funko Pop. I told myself I wouldn't get any, but now I have two. And I also have um, Dustin from Stranger Things. Here's some other ones as well. Eleven with the hospital gown. Jonathan, Nancy. I'm really excited for the new season two, but I really like the look of him in his biohazard suit. I took a pilot test for an elementary education test at a college. The, and the incentive was two $50 Barnes & Noble gift cards. So I have a $100 gift card through Barnes & Noble. So I went and bought some Funko Pops. This one is light from Death Note. Now I have all the Death Note ones that I want. Really really like the character of light he's very intriguing he's very smart keeps the show on its toes i have ryuk here and l and i don't have l with the cape but i would love to get that at some point so light um really happy to get this one and really happy that i found that pilot test i went and took like the test for like 20 minutes and got a hundred dollar barnes and nobles gift card really awesome that same day at Barnes & Nobles, I picked up April Ludgate from Parks and Recreation. I have Andy Dwyer. When he is Burt Macklin, I don't think I'll get Andy Dwyer here, but I am looking for Lil' Sebastian, Ron Swanson, and Leslie Nope. This is so funny that they did Lil' Sebastian. The song for him is so funny, and I love Parks and Rec. 
I watched it a few times. It was hard to get into at first, but it definitely is one of my favorite shows of all time. At Hot Topic, I picked up the Hot Topic exclusive Diamond Collection Ursula. Um, I needed to pick up three Funkos in order to use my hot cash, and I had a $5 reward. Um, I had two in mind, and this was the last one. I'm still not really sure why I got it, but it does look cool, and Little Mermaid's a pretty good movie. So I am happy to get this one. Hopefully they'll release some other cool characters in the future through this diamond collection that they have. So if I open this and I touch it, I'm going to have glitter all over my hands. And as a teacher, I do not like glitter. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this one though. The other Funkos I got with my hot cash was Peter Pettigrew from the Harry Potter series. We introduced to him in the third movie in The Prisoner of Azkaban. The only thing that was left from Peter Pettigrew was a finger. So I like that little detail in this Funko. And the last one I got with my hot cash is Jack Torrance from The Shining. Really want the uh, chase for this one, um, but I'm sure it's hard to find. Don't think I'll get Wendy Torrance or Danny Torrance unless I find them from Dirt Cheap. I like how they have the side here, like the carpet. But this is a really cool Funko, and I really like, if you look here, it says Red Rum on the, the Funko case here, which is a great little detail as well. And his axe, this is a really good movie. If you haven't seen The Shining, definitely check it out. Next up is Bane from the Bam Next up is Bane from the animated Batman series. I uh, went to Toys R Us with some family members to get some birthday presents, and my mom said I can get a Funko Pop, so I went and snagged Bane um, from the Batman anime series from Toys R Us. I uh, haven't watched much of the Batman anime series, but I do like the classic look, uh, the cartoon look of Bane. He's really cool. I'd much rather see this and the Dark Knight Rises and the other costume, but that's still great as well. So here's Bane from the Batman show. And last, but definitely not least, is the King Felix, the Safeco filled exclusive. If you guys don't watch baseball, uh, this is Felix Hernandez. He's a pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. He's considered our ace, um, even though his injuries has plagued him in the recent years. Um, he, but we always regard him as our king. So he is has a crown on top of his head and he is standing on the mound, uh, there's the dirt there that he stands on for the pitcher's mound, and he's got um, baseball there. Um, and they had uh, 20,000 copies of this, about 1,000 of their Sunday alternate jerseys, and 34, because 34 is his number, 34 gold um, Funko Pops, and 34. And I looked on OfferUp, one person sold it for $500. As another, a Funko page I follow on Washington. I'm a guy that uh, is part of that page. I uh, said that he got one, which I'm super jealous, but I am happy with this one. Um, I bought a cheap, cheap ticket, about 17 bucks to get this Funko Pop. We headed up to um, Seattle to get this one. Really enjoyed this. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Um, I am a big Seattle Mariners fan since I live in Washington, even though they are a really bad team. Didn't make it to the postseason. Still happy to have this one in my collection. So there you guys have it. All the Blu-rays and DVDs I picked up in the month of September. So happy with the things I got. But next month is going to be a bigger month. Some really good horror movies coming out. New York Comic Con is coming out. And I am going... And I plan on picking up something really, really, really big that I am so excited to share with you guys. So stick around to the end of October where I will share the Funko and Blu-ray haul. Got a big big haul for you guys. I do promise you that. So this is Just Watch Movies. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you stay classy YouTube.